Jane's Mansell here, bringing you yet another tutorial. Today's show is all about the art of the titty. I appear before you, as brave as I am, without breasts today. This is me naturally. I'm going to show you all a simple technique I use in order to get beautiful, luscious, curvaceous boobs that all the men will lust after. You're going to need some form of highlight and contour. I have on hand the Anastasia Highlight and Contour Kit, as well as a Wet n Wild Highlight and Contour Do Well for those of you on a budget. What else is necessary is a glow kit. I have here the NYX Glow Kit. All right, shall we get started? All right, so the first thing you want to do is figure out on your skin where the best place for your titty is to go. Now, it's going to work out best. You're going to have the best results if you already have a little bit of body fat on you. Like me, for instance, I have some very meaty titties so I got a lot to work with already if you don't have much I suggest using a bowl or anything round or circular that can give you that curvature just know that the illusion is going to be ruined the minute you turn like that I'm going to go in with the Anastasia contour kit I'm going to use the color fawn because that's the lightest contour they have using a little brush like this you take that scrape a little bit of product out of there tap it off and the patented James Mansfield titty cupping technique Push your booby up like that. And you're gonna wanna go from the bottom here and just lightly drag that up. Just going along with the crease that your natural body fat already creates. Depending on what kind of breast type you wanna show off, you can stop either right here in the middle like I'm going to, or you can go all the way to the end here if you want really pushed up Pamela Anderson boobies. But I want something that falls a little more natural. So I'm gonna stop right here at the tip flicking it off so it creates a curve there with the brush. A good way to think of this is almost like you're making a martini glass on your chest. Now we're going to go in with a deeper contour. Taking Havana, I am going to make that contour a bit more bold. This is showbiz magic right here. You're going to go in with an even darker brown. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild guy. And using a different brush this time, I'm using one of these sharp pointed brushes. Taking a little bit of it there. This is going to be the detail line. I got this idea from Pearl after watching it on her season. She had the most luscious blue contour I had ever seen. So I wanted to figure out how to replicate that. And literally all she does is she just takes a darker line and draws it along the edge. And that creates more of a three-dimensional feel. All right. So far, so good. All right, let's start blending. Going to take a clean brush and just blend that out just lightly feathering along the sides because you don't want to blend it too hard and blend it all away because then from afar no one's going to notice it you want to keep it a little bold all right and along the ends here you want to buff it out a little more because you don't want it to be too bold at the top you want it to be more dark and then getting lighter kind of like you're smoking it out all right time for the highlight you're going to take your highlight color i'm using the banana color from the wet n wild palette getting a nice good gob of that and just smacking it here. And I'm only bringing it down towards the contour a little bit, just marrying it just a tiny bit because I'm gonna blend it all out. But you don't wanna put too much highlight powder over your contour here, otherwise it's gonna undo everything. Because if you look at women's breasts, that's really where the light tends to gather. So just pat it on there. We're not scraping it around. We're picking up product and just setting it where we want it to go. And then one more highlight. You're gonna take a little bit of this and fill in the martini glass. Happy to get it in. Just be careful not to go too much into your contour line. All this is doing is bringing attention down the center and it's gonna make it look more three dimensional. Bring it a little bit down the tail of the martini glass, filling up that way. And this technique is tried and true for me. I mean, you could just get a titty bib, but who's got $600 to throw around? Besides, I heard those things grow mold. Now for the finishing touch, your glow. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glow Kit. I am using the lightest one here. Same contour and highlight brush. Just take some of the product and tap it on here along the top and middle of the tip. I'd say of everything you're doing here, the glow is the most important. It's gonna make it look the most realistic. All right, and then take a little bit and put some in the martini glass. Bring it up to highlight some of your collarbone. Make your chest look a little more muscular than it actually is. And bring it down the martini glass. 
And I'm just gonna use a second color of glow too, just to add a bit more dimension. This one's more of a bronze. And just bring that along the contour. Not too much, just a little bit. And just using a brush, I'm gonna finish it all up by blending it. And there you go. Now you could go out just like this, but you really want to add a little more oomph to this. So you could use socks, you could use rice. I've seen some girls use, you know, polyfill and pantyhose. But what I like to use is an old technique I love. A cut up Nerf ball. You just take these and you pull it out. Oh, nip slip, free the nipple. Alrighty, take some of that and just stuff them on up in there. Zhuzh up your top a little bit. And just take some of that meat, pull it up, and voila, I'm a busty beauty. Well, this is the final product, kittens. What do you think? Ooh, I'm ready for my Miss Connections meetup. Anyways, that's the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Nothing rude, though. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next. I am listening. Your concerns are my concern. Anyways, I love you all, and I'll see you next time, kittens. Mwah! Bye! Click here and get ready with me, or see me style a wig in depth. Come on, click it. Click it. Please click it. Your mom called. She said you should click it.